Welcome back, rum fans. People, rum curious, maybe. I'm the rambling rum spit. I've got me trusty glass. It's time for some rum tasting. Now, there's a bit of background to today's tastings. Um, I'm doing two in one video because it makes sense. And um, it makes sense because basically, if you haven't seen the video post on TikTok, I am starting to venture out into the world of looking at going and visiting distilleries. And I went to my first one, which was Dropworks. So it was quite nice to go down. I didn't think I'd get there so, so soon. Again, another shout out to Big Dave becoming my veritable rum buddy at the moment and um yeah we went to drop works down in workshop and we had a bit of a session tasting some rums down there and i'd already tasted like at least a couple of them before um one of the ones that i haven't tasted before i don't think and one of the ones that i have got to try is the barrel drop or cask drop which is like a whiskey. So we'll be trying a bit of that today. I did try it down there. So we will, you will hear my thoughts on it. Then, while I was down there, I picked up Dropworks Dark Drop because this was the one that I most liked and that most appealed to me, I'm going to say, along with this. Um, obviously, uh, just a quick bit about the distillery tour. It's well worth going down. It's a really nice estate that it's set in. Um, uh, it's, you know, you if you have a significant other that has no interest in rum, no interest in drinking, going down and having, like, some drinks down there or anything like that um then this might be a good one to start with because they could drive you down there and have a wander around the shop next door there's like basically a big farm shop type vibe about it and there's a lot of good quality stuff down there um and you know, it, it, we had a bit of a look around there, and it was quite nice to, to be honest. It was, you know, I liken it to like you, uh, there's a farm shop, service station place, uh, somewhere between here and, like, Torquay, and I, probably, should remember more the area where it's in, somewhere in the Midlands, I think. And it reminded me of that, um, like a farm shop, good vibes, good produce, but quite expensive. But the quality is there from what they're saying. Obviously, I can't judge it for myself, but their rum is good quality. And yeah, the tour, they tell you a lot about the estate. I didn't, I did take a note, but I forgot to take my notes because I just felt once we got there, I felt like if anybody wants to go and do it, they need to go and do it. They don't need to hear it secondhand from me. Um, it's it's just an experience to go on, and really enjoyed um, really enjoyed the tour. We had Darren. Darren was great. Bit of funny and bit of funny in there. Bit bit of like a joke and a laugh with him. And uh, there were a couple of guys who know him from working on the estate. They was there, so there was a bit of banter between them. And I'll, I remember trying the molasses. And that was that was a good experience and smelling the wash just like it's it's just an experience and if you're into your rum it's well worth well worth checking out um so yeah drop works is what we're doing today guys and um i'm gonna start with the dark drop um now i when i first tasted this it was at manchester uh rum festival in july and this was the one that I think stood out to me. If it wasn't this, it was the Spiced. But when I tried the Spiced in Drawworks Distillery, 
I don't know. There was something about it that didn't quite grab me. I don't like. It was light. Maybe it was a bit too light for my taste on the day. I don't know. My like. I like most rum, so it's kind of a bit of a pick and mix when, when what I'm going to be into on the day. But let's get some of this pour. Good pop out of the bottle. The, the smell that you get off that reminds me, and now I can actually, I could actually compare it in a minute, um, of Woods. That kind of vibe, a dark... Now, for me, like, I would say Woods is the first big dark rum that I tried, that I got into. And then if you look then at Skipper, um, less so Kraken and um, Peaky Blinders, but the darkness and the, the, the similar sort of smells, the molasses vibes, and yeah, you just get a really pungent aroma of like that kind of vibe for me. And um, I think that's what I love about I imagine, and they do say on the bottle about lashings of ginger beer would be a good option. Is it ginger beer or is it ginger ale? I think it's ginger beer. Yeah, lashings of ginger beer or stir down in an old fashioned. I think those definitely the vibes I'm getting for this kind of run. Really strong, uh, what is it, 40%? Yeah, 40%. We'll give it a go anyway. Don't have too much because we're doing two. Oof. A bit wobbly. So yeah, in the glass, nothing new really. I think now though, when I drink it, I'm always going to be taken back to tasting them in the distillery. So I'm always going to get like... I don't know, like a smell of rum distillery in the background. <laughs> right. It's not too sweet. It's smooth with very little burn. You do get a bit of burn, but and you get that molasses kind of. I think it's molasses anyway. The texture coming through. Um, I don't think. Dropworks barrel, Dropworks dark drop, should I say, is one that a lot of people will like. I think it's kind of like something that if you like dark rum, if you don't like spiced rum, you will probably prefer this to their other stuff. Um... Maybe, uh, like, we did try them all, so I might throw names around it. Funk Drop, I think, maybe that could be another one that people could like. But, again, I feel like you've got to like White Rum to be into that. Um, but, I mean, your best bet is to go down, try it. Um, or, pardon me, if you can get a taster... By all means, get a taster. Anybody who obviously knows me personally, who um, is in touch with me, get in touch with me. We can probably sort something out. I can probably get you around for a bit of a taster. 
Um, but for me, I just I love the I love the woodsy navy rum vibes I'm getting off this. I think that's what I'm getting off it, and that's what I like about it. Um, I did let my dad taste it, but as ever, his opinion is not particularly bedazzling. It's very rare. He will give a glowing report for a rum that I get him to try, but he did, he did say that he liked it. He just wasn't particularly, yeah, it's all right that bad. It's all right that, it's not bad. But that's, you know, you can never tell if he's saying that to be nice because he doesn't want to hurt my feelings if I really like it. Or is he saying that because he genuinely would drink that? Um, and I think often he's a creature of habit. So he will stick always to Puss's rum with the occasional other rum. Uh, I think he does like Foursquare. He said that Woods is his, probably his, one of his... This is the second to Pusses. Um, we tried Myers recently as well, and that was kind of up there. And, I mean, that's the vibe that I get from this rum. It's kind of like a Myers um, Woods. And I'm not saying... I'm trying not to focus too much on that comparison here because I think it is its own thing and it is very different to all those rums but what i'm getting i'm getting the similar vibes if you like woods myers skipper try die drop and see what you think of that because it is good quality you can tell the quality from drinking it but i don't know there's something about it that Like, it just gives those vibes, those comparisons that I've just given. So I don't want to go too, too much into that. Um, but, yeah, I've got another glass here. I can just use this, pour it in there, and then I'm probably going to use the rubs in the cocktail afterwards. Why not? Just being a bit weird here. Trying to swill the majority of the rum out so that I'm getting a fresh taste with this. This is barrel drop. Um, it's basically for the whiskey fans, really. If you like whiskey, it's to try and grab your attention, get you into rum. So if you like whiskey, try this barrel drop um in fact rewind you can't try this because it's sold out limited edition but if i remember right they are bringing it out as a they're bringing not necessarily exactly the same but they're bringing out a very similar vibe rum which is going to be cask drop maybe i'm not sure what cask drop is in my head I'm sure if when this goes live, I'm sure Dropworks will get in the comments and say what what the plan is. But I think they're working on something very similar to this that will be one of their main will go out. So you'll be able to get that, which will be very similar to this. Um, like I said, I'm just glad I got to taste it. I was going to buy a bottle of that as well as the um, Dropworks Dark Drop, but I'm not going to lie. Currently in a bit of a financial belt tightening situation, so kind of need not to be buying a bottle of rum every month. So buying two in one month would have been a bit bad. Um, currently deciding whether to wait, whether to get a bottle on payday, um, or whether to just wait. Um, but. I like to have a new bottle every now and again, and, you know, got to keep the collection going. So, yeah, smell this. So, cast drop, 
subtle, more subtle, not a powerful, not as powerful a smell. I'm gonna pour it out because I don't think there's enough coming off to get my nose in. I'm gonna leave a bit. Might let my dad try some. Getting woody notes off this. Anyway, let's try it. And this is where, as ever with me, you will get this. I can often fail you in terms of um, what to tell you, what the notes are and stuff like that, because all I'm getting is it reminds me of whiskey. It tastes like it's got a warming feeling. It's... You could definitely have, there's a little bit of a burn, but it's smooth. It's really smooth. Uh, smoother than dark drop, I would say. There's less character about it than dark drop. I'm just getting woody notes. And then I'm maybe getting that sort of, just like, just like, that's nice. Just, you know, just that's a nice, that's a nice drop. And then you could say you could sip that over rice quite easily. It, it, that, it does give me whiskey vibes, but rum. And that's what I love about this particular one. It just, to me, it just, if you drink whiskey, that's what. I would say you want in a rum is like a very similar you know you want to be able to sip it neat over ice or on its own maybe drop it in an old-fashioned a rum fashioned or maybe like just you know maybe you don't maybe you know if you're wanting to dive full in and get cocktails and stuff this might not be the one maybe the dark drops more the one I think dark drop again if you like ginger beer, that's a that's a good rum. I don't know. Just honestly, like, try it. When they bring out, I'm sure, like I said, I'm going to be sending them this to, to, to get, to let them know what I thought. And hopefully, if they've got the time, they can clarify some of my uh, gaps. I don't, like I said, I did take my pad, but I was just immersed in the experience of tasting the rums and in awe of being there, having watched Steve the Barman's video, shout out to Steve, he's like, just kind of like, I am actually here now, myself. I'm here, myself. Wow. So, yeah, I lost the plot a little bit and just, just enjoyed the journey and was a bit drunk afterwards, I'm not going to lie. I didn't expect to be that drunk because I didn't, but they, like, I think some comments have been going in the, in their posts. They're generous with the measures, and they are. If you what if you go to their distillery, I highly recommend not driving, finding someone else to drive. They can go look around the estate or find someone to drive you and come back and pick you up if it's not too far for them. I don't expect him to want to do that. It's For me, it's like about an hour, an hour and a half. Not 100% sure, but it didn't take us as long as we thought. So, yeah, I would yeah recommend getting down there, enjoying the tour. 
yeah if you need to book a hotel nearby um apparently the food at the calf there is good so if you need to do that it's there but honestly i think we go with the dark drop we go maybe like a seven or an eight for me um i'm very i'm not fussy i like it but it's probably not like it's probably my sort of rum but it's probably not like i don't know there's something he's not giving me something i don't know what that something is there's maybe maybe i just prefer sweeter rums i don't know but there's something missing with the dark drop for me drinking it the more i drink it the more it becomes apparent that there is something missing but the more it also becomes apparent that it's a good quality rum it's just maybe that it's not quite to my taste but they did say when we were down there darren did say it's not for everybody but it's definitely a bit more of me than the spiced was um again the spice might become more of me as time goes on or less of me i don't know but this this is definitely me first thing i thought of when i was tasting it originally was knock and do which is a spare side uh whiskey and i was like yeah it's similar vibes it's on a level with that for me like i don't drink whiskey but knock and do is a whiskey that i can sit and drink and i'm i'm happy and i have a tot of that and i'm away but yeah highly recommend you check that one out when they do bring their own i i guess the non-limited edition version of it um when they if that's what they're gonna do definitely check it out um but i would hope that yeah you give them a try because i think it says on their website they're the largest rum distillery in europe just you know check them out if you can go down for the tour it's well worth the money and um yeah hopefully you will uh have a good laugh have a good tour um i've put up i've met the founder at rum fest i believe and then i've met obviously darren and i've met somebody else i can't remember his name at rum fest with them he's not the the master distiller um who i've still yet to meet um but yeah pleasure 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 hanging out and going around the tour and yeah i'm looking forward to um seeing what else they come up with um i do know that they are working with other brands whether that is something they want to share or not um, they are doing it um, i believe they're kind of wanting to elevate other brands with their rum rather than elevate themselves which i quite liked but i also think they should be acknowledging that that's what they're doing and that's what they're doing when on the tour anyway they recognize that well we're actually passing us their we're passing our rum to them and they're doing something with it and it's great but we don't want our name on their product so that's fine but as a rum consumer i would rather know that if i like this that you're the place where the rum came from so it comes back to you as well it doesn't like for instance this company um is one that i'm very fond of and that's plantation now known as planter a planter a doing something with dropworks i would rather know from planter a that dropworks have had a hand in that but i understand if dropworks would have won their name tied to that project you know it's their choice but for me personally as a consumer i want to know where the rums come from um, and i think most people who are rum connoisseurs or they're into their rum 
tend to want to know where the rums come from. And when you get a lot of these rums where you see it and it's like, oh, mixed curd beer and blend, I'm like, oh, well, what, what countries, where's it from, what's it, what's, what's the sketch? But yeah, so there you go, guys. A double drop works tasting. And um, yeah, I'm going to bang these with some kind of concoction and uh, carry on with my evening. But yeah, if you want to see more rum videos, if you've got any suggestions of rums I need to try, need to taste, get them in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. If you've got any rums that um you want to know more about that you might think i might have or anything let me know um but yeah obviously rambling rum spurt here rambling rum spurt on instagram rambling rum spurt if you search me up on youtube you'll find this channel and um I am at DJPIXC on Twitter and what am I, what am I, uh, PANPIXC on TikTok. But I usually, if I'm doing a rum video, it'll be tagged with Rambling Rums for it, so do search that up. Um, but yeah, I will see you soon and hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, please leave us a like. It massively helps me... Uh, judge what rums uh, what videos are doing well um as you can see no backdrop no fancy stuff going on just me in my living room trying some rums for you letting you know my thoughts and we'll keep it going uh with another video hopefully before the end of the month tatty bye bye